Hi there, I'm Ruth Earl. I am volunteer curator of the North Fairfield Museum and secretary of the North Fairfield <laughs> Historical Association, which was established in 1943. This house became a museum one year later, 1944, due to the generosity of a local funeral director at the time. He donated it for the purpose of becoming a library and a museum. I'm told that the first two rooms were library and then the museum was through the door on the other side and people come in and say, I remember coming to the library, I never remember coming to the museum. And I say, well, it you know, wasn't always open. Um, but I, Jerry and I, my husband Jerry, who was over there, um, he's probably not going to stand in front of the camera. We have been taking care of it for about 20 years. His parents did it before we did. and. His grandparents did it before that. They're both listed in the 1944 program. So it's an honor to take care of it. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. And today we are actually celebrating the 75th anniversary of the opening. October 29th, 1944. Um, had a, a big dedication, as I understand it. I was alive then, but I wasn't in North Fairfield, and I wouldn't have remembered it anyway. Uh, but they had music and speakers and all kinds of things. Uh, so we're just delighted with our turnout. Um, weather, you never know if it's going to be awful or really good, and today is perfect for something like this. Um, it's great to you look around and you, people are bringing things in. To, um, once history's gone, it's gone, right? You're right, it is. It's absolutely gone. And we, we invited people to bring a relic to share. Um, some people joked that they were bringing their spouses, and that's okay if that's... <laughs> uh, some people are bringing relics to donate, which is wonderful. We, we do have very limited space left to accept things. We're, we love it when people bring paper items because we have a lot of family boxes and a lot of photo albums. Um, we're, other than that, we're, we're jammed to the walls, but bringing a relic was a good idea, and I don't take any credit for it. One of our members suggested it, and so oh, that's great. Does anybody ever bring something in that just floors you? Gosh, <laughs> there have been so many things that have just floored me. Um, clothing <laughs> actually is one of the things that has been really fun. We have five wedding dresses. The oldest was from an 1880 wedding. You got to be excited with the turnout. Oh, I'm delighted. Yeah, we, we were, we had guesses from 20 to 200. And gosh, I have no idea how many people have been through, but people I've never seen before, people I know the family members of, but uh, yeah, it's great. Any truth or rumor you got the NFL to change the Brown start time for this? I heard that. I think that was just delightful of them because I wouldn't want anybody to miss the game. Um, I'm figuring they're going to knock the socks off the Patriots this afternoon. That's, that's my guess. You're, you're open every Sunday in the summers, and uh, this is, uh, uh, you spend a lot of time here. This is a labor of love for you, isn't it? It is, absolutely. Yeah, we always joke that we want people to sign our guest book because we get paid by the guest, but uh, actually we don't. And we have to be honest, Jerry and I put a few pennies in here and there, but we have some very wonderful financial backers too, uh, which we need because the building is 178 years old and even though it was renovated quite extensively 20 years ago, we're starting to see some needs for additional repairs, um, as I probably will too when I'm 178 years old. Um, but yeah, we, we spend a lot of time here, summer Sundays, uh, but always by appointment. If there's anybody available who can open it for an out-of-town guest, for example, we're always happy to do that. 
and we were really pleased a couple of weeks ago we opened for a guest from Florida and then a day later we opened it for guests from North Carolina and one actually from Northampton, England, who was married to the lady from North Carolina. Uh, but they, they all had family connections, and that's one of the fun things to do if people come in and they've heard that their grandparents have left something and they'd like to see it, or we have the, the class pictures in what I refer to as the, the schoolroom. Um, First class actually graduated from North Fairfield High School in 19, I'm sorry, 1884. The last class graduated in 1960, and then the merger with Greenwich to become South Central. But it's always fun when little kids come in and I want to find my grandpa's picture. So as soon as we figure out who grandpa is, we can usually find his picture. Sometimes it's great grandpa now, I must admit. <laughs> As, as the kids get younger and we get older, but uh, we have all of the class pictures from 1916 through 1960. So that's a lot of North Fairfield High School graduates. They still have an alumni reunion every year, and we always open for that event, so if people want to come in beforehand, they can do that. Um, personally, I think it's pretty remarkable that we have all those pictures. I seriously doubt that there is any school in the area that does that, and that is, as I understand it all, thanks to a man who found them in a trash pile sometime and decided that they need to be rescued. And so we have them. Gosh, when I can stand here surrounded by lovely brides, um, this one is 1912, this one is 1922, and the, the mannequin was actually supposed to be shorter. Uh, so I was a little horrified when she came in at 5'9", but 1922 was flapper era, so it was okay if it was short. Um, and they even brought the, the beautiful stockings for her. Um, she was actually a Willard High School graduate, and the diploma came with it, but we sent that back to Willard to wear that dress for special occasions, but it finally got fragile enough that I didn't think I could do that anymore. So, that one lives there. It's eight, 1873? 1873, yeah. yep. Mm -hmm. And very well preserved. 